Hey guys, I'm Lenny and today I got another update for you uh, for the game I've been working on. I have uh, actually gotten to implementing or supporting pathfinding. So this is an example of uh, finding a path between two bases which is going to be part of the AI for the enemy and uh, this is going to be the path uh, my opponent will try to go for to reach my base and kill me so um, what I had to do and what were the biggest problems uh, one of the biggest problems was that there is really a real lack of documentation for um, for the GDX library uh, especially for the indexed A star pathfinder Luckily, you can just uh, go to your dependencies, right click the GDX AI and there's gonna be an option download sources, which I've already done, so the, the, the option isn't there. But if you download the source, you can actually inspect the source and see what the code does. And from there, you can kinda reverse engineer or uh, figure out how the thing works especially if you haven't done anything like this before so I went through, through the code and uh, I saw what I need to do kinda and I've started working on my own Pathfinder class that's gonna take advantage of the implementation uh, from GDX so um, <laughs> I had to create a list of nodes. Nodes are uh, like tiles on the map and each node has connections to other nodes. So the bottom right, bottom left uh, corner, this node or tile is connected to three more tiles and you need to store those connections uh, in the tile properties. And then for each tile on the map, you need to do, do the same. So there are exceptions for corners, those are limited. Uh, for borders, those are limited as well. They can reach uh, five tiles. Corners can reach three tiles. And there are the middle, middle thingies, middle tile, middle tiles, <laughs> and they can reach eight, uh, eight possible tiles, unless it's uh, a blocked tile and. Um, the water here, all the water tiles are blocked, which means I need to take account of that when I'm creating those connections. Uh, this piece of code is creating those connections. Those are corners, those are borders, like sides, these are the middle ones, and this, uh, this think uh, checks if the tile is blocked so if one of the connections is blocked it's not gonna add the connection for the connection you need to implement your own class this is what I've done um, and I have taken account of cost of the tile or cost of the connection which means that for my pathfinder the cost of going straight in a straight line uh, is gonna be much lower or twice lower than the cost of going diagonal this will create well i can i can show you an example so this is the cost for going in a straight line this is the cost for going in a um, diagonally the result is this I switch those values it should go for a different path I hope yeah it's gonna go for weird stuff like this uh, it's gonna try to go diagonally as much as possible because it uh, thinks that going vertically or in a straight line is much more ineffective so only here it's forced to go um, in this in, in a straight line so it has to go there but otherwise it's gonna go for diagonal movement um, 
the biggest issue here was that GDX uh, flips the Y axis and that's because of OpenGL apparently. Oh, it's 12 a.m. so I'm downloading all the dependencies which are rebuilt each day I guess. So uh, that kind of messed me up um, and I had to go back and uh, rewrite the code because I was expecting the top left corner to be 0, 0, um, but 0, 0 is uh, bottom left corner. So that was one mistake I've made. I knew I'm gonna have to do that, but I still forgot. <laughs> Uh, another issue was understanding their implementation. Uh, the code isn't really well documented itself, or at least they tried to go for a few um, little little hints. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it wasn't enough for me, and I had to go through the code and kind of try it out for myself. It wasn't really um, intuitive for me. But when I got to it, it started to be, and it was, it got easier every time. <laughs> now I actually understand most of it, and it's, it's cool that I don't have to implement my own pathfinding. And um, by indexed star, A star pathfinding, that's an advanced pathfinding from A star, uh, which uses indices for each of its nodes and by nodes I mean tiles for my let's see um, where I'm creating those nodes those are connections here um, and all you have to do with those uh, indices you just add uh, a number which is the index and it's gonna use that index to uh, figure out the way faster because it can reference those uh, nodes by index and that's uh, the whole trick to it and it should be real well it should be much faster um, compared to regular A star huh. all right what's next um, <laughs> I'd like to use uh, the my pathfinding tool to try to implement a simple or easy AI that's gonna try to follow the path when it's gonna get enough money and build towers along it. Um, then I'll implement a feature that's gonna decide um, who and how is gonna well the cap capturing of towers that's the whole the deal that I'm right now focusing at um, and then I'll try to make the AI smarter, so when our borders uh, get closer together its uh, target is not gonna be to get to my base, but rather uh, defeat me along those borders. Then I could improve the AI by thinking about if it's worth fighting on those borders or just defending and trying to flank me somewhere and then I can probably go for a much smarter AI the possibilities there I are kinda endless I guess well they should be limited you know, when it comes to simple game like this but right now I want to focus on simple stuff and uh, that's gonna be uh, moving on along the path and uh, fighting over towers I just remembered another issue um, when I was adding stuff to, I, I got a, uh, an array of blocked tiles, which are those water tiles, and I used to have uh, the base tile inside the blocked um, array, but with uh, the pathfinding, I couldn't actually do that because the target tile was blocked, so the pathfinding couldn't actually, the pathfinder couldn't find a way. So I had to add an exception for it. So when I'm building the tower, well, I removed the base from the blocked uh, array and I had to add uh, this method that checks for any objects 
under the on the tile where you're trying to build uh, some stuff. So if I were to build a tower in here, it's gonna stop me. I've intentionally put this method as the last check in the if clause because this is uh, much easier to resolve this should be uh, much easier as well and this is the heavy method I guess so that's probably the best way I could go uh, I could do it all right um, so I've talked about what I did what I'm gonna do and <laughs> that's about it for for now uh, it was quite painful to work with the pathfinding as I didn't understand it well and Oh, I was tired and my whole body is aching from working out and yeah <laughs> usually I'm more productive than that but I had a lot of stuff to do um, for my job because right now for our project we are reworking the whole UI um, and it's a lot of work I hate working with uh, cascade style, she style sheet and graphics for web I like to program stuff, I like to go um, deep into the code and don't worry about any graphics stuff and yeah this week was all about graphics and it's gonna be the next week and then the next week as well. <laughs> I should stop this video before <laughs> I piss off more people. <laughs> Alright, um, see you guys next time.